I'm Native American, full-blooded Apache, Mescalero Apache from the reservation down in southern New Mexico. A little 19-year-old girl got pregnant out of wedlock. Time came to give birth, so somewhere in some street or alleyway of Albuquerque gave birth to this beautiful bouncing baby boy. And then she abandoned me at birth, passed me around about 16 families before I was six. I always accused her of, since my name is Dollar, passing the buck. And I couldn't help feeling in my own self as kind of a little drop of water on the sea of humanity. I was just sort of drifting. I, what was my place? What was my significance? What was my purpose in life? Was there anything unique or special in, in me? And of course, from my background, nothing was. And often I would look to the heavens and I would sit by the lake and look up at the clouds drifting and just wonder, where is my place? What is my place? And it was eight years old when I heard the message of the gospel. I never knew who the father was in my own life, but I became convinced that if you don't have a father, you can't do a whole lot better than the God of the universe. So I no longer thought of myself as just adrift without any purpose or meaning or significance or direction, but really a child of the King, and he had a plan for my life. I think he changed the whole direction of what could have been my life. So if you feel abandoned, if you feel alone, if you feel insignificant and, and no future and no past, and don't understand what is your place in the universe, uh, it's very natural to feel that way. Uh, it's part of that vacuum in the human heart uh, that God has created us for Himself. And I just want to encourage you that if you do feel that way, when you come into that relationship with God, you're locked into the King of the universe. You're locked into His infinite being and character. You become an eternal child of God, but also we're connected with His eternal plan. We get to be a part of the redemptive plan of God for all of humanity. Talk about significance. Talk about meaning and purpose and joy and delight. And I want to encourage you that whoever you are, whatever background, however limited you may feel it is, God can take insignificant, the simple, the, the, even the wounded among us. And if we will allow him, he'll take you and use you far beyond your dreams. Just keep following the Lord and you'll be astounded in what he's going to do with your life.